Hello and welcome 4th of June, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning, slightly breezy today, more importantly slightly more breezy than the forecast was meant to be. Important this week because I have brought out my tomatoes and my pumpkin and squash and planted them out. Some lucky ones, tomatoes, are safe in the greenhouse. The wind's picked up, will the others be okay? Let's go back a couple of days when I planted my tomatoes. So the tomatoes all sown at the same time at the start of April. The big ones were germinated in a propagator inside. The smaller ones to the right germinated in a cold frame outdoors and not yet potted on. Elsa Craig, Black Russian, Orcado, Gardener's Delight, Moneymaker. So the small ones that germinated outside in the cold frame have been outside all that time. These bigger ones, when I potted them on at the end of April, I moved them out into the cold frame then. So they've been outside for about a month. Yes, in a protected kind of environment, but they're, they're fairly strong. The stems are fairly thick. I haven't done anything else, so I haven't paid any attention to them whatsoever. I'm going to plant most of them out into the plot because I'm, I'll be going on a holiday later in the summer. <laughs> Trying to think ahead. I'm going to keep a couple back in the greenhouse and maybe give them to someone else to water while I'm away. The smaller ones that I haven't potted on yet, I'm going to pot them on once I free some of these pots up. Keep them in the greenhouse temporarily, some of them might go out later on. So I'm going to mix them up, put them in different areas of the allotment try and spread my risk a little bit but yeah that is the plan so let's get going then i'll show you the roots of the first plant i won't bore you with the roots from every plant if anything is different with any of the others i'll let you know plenty of roots there not too many i think i've just caught that about the right time pop them in the ground uh, maybe Bury a bit of the stem because they can grow roots from this bit of the bottom. So yeah, get them in the ground. Right, so that's the tomatoes that are going out in the ground. I've given them a good watering. Obviously I watered them when they're in the cold frame at home, but what I haven't done with them is like take out side shoots, anything like that, to maximize the amount of tomatoes you get. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna make sure they're all right first. Trouble with putting things out in the allotment is oh, daylight today, there's no wind whatsoever that's not there is there is there is no wind tomorrow might be a different story so i might have to stake them up in due course but it should be all right at the minute because like i said they've been outside all right in a protected environment but they're, they're fairly they're fairly rigid last year i did have some tomatoes outside and they were all in one place and they got blight I had to destroy them all didn't get one tomato off those so spreading them out I'm hoping that'll reduce the risk yes ideally they'd be in a greenhouse and I'd water them every day or every other day but that's not possible so a couple of the lucky or unlucky ones are going to go in the greenhouse the rest will have to take the chances out there I freed up a load of pots so these Bigger ones can go in the big pots, although I'm out of big pots, so one's going to get in a bag. And I've freed up a load of little mini pots for these to be potted on for the first time, so I will get on with that. Oh, no, no. 
So next day we're back. The tomato plants have survived the night. So I'm going to give them all a good watering and move on to the pumpkins. So on to the squash and pumpkin then. I've got some courgettes and squash over here, not many. I must have sowed 20, 30 seeds. I've only got about five or six germinated. They were sown outside in the cold frame. Onto the pumpkins here. Mammoth pumpkins is the variety, so a bigger variety than I've grown last year. Some of them were sown in the cold frame outside. Again, the germination rate wasn't as good, but the bigger ones here were sown in the propagator inside, waiting for the plants to grow big, and then they've been outside in the cold frame, getting used to the wind for about three weeks. So they're a lot bigger. Um, because they've been outside, some have been nibbled by slugs or something. Mostly they're okay. Apart from this one, which seems to have I seem to have snapped the stem in transit today. When I transported the tomatoes yesterday, I did find those supermarket bags for life were really quite good in transporting pots of tomatoes that are quite tall with pumpkins and squash to grow outwards. So you have to transport them one by one. Um, so it's a bit of a balancing act of when to transfer them to the allotment. You want them to be big enough to survive, but you know, there's only so much foliage you can fit in a car. Talking of foliage, obviously the big leaves on these very susceptible to wind. So I brought some metal kind of stakes. I'll call them tent pegs. I don't think they are. To sort of pin down the vines that are growing out to stop them blowing about as much. I'm going to dot these randomly around the allotment. I do have some but we've got five or six courgette seeds left. I'm gonna sow them direct. Don't normally do that but you never know and that'll give me a few more plants so I'm gonna get on with that. So that's a pumpkin and squash planted out almost randomly. Make sure they're in a bit of space. Apart from some I've planted, sort of near my tomatoes for some reason. Some I've planted in the middle of my onions. I'm thinking the onions won't be there in a couple of months time. The pumpkin and squash will be here September, October, maybe even November time. So try and plant them where they won't overcrowd what's still to grow, but maybe there'll be a bit more space there in a few months time. Anyway, so all I am left with now is empty pots and dreams and for my fingers crossed for not much wind the next few days, maybe a bit of rain. Bank holiday weekend this weekend, today is the Friday, so bank holiday Thursday, Friday, which leaves Saturday and Sunday. I can come down and make sure they've got a good watering. When I come down and give them a good watching, I'll probably record the intro and the outro to this video. So, um, yeah, back to Dave. So a couple of days after planting out my tomatoes and a day after planting out my pumpkin and squash, they all seem to be all right. It's only a few miles an hour more windy than it said it was going to be, maybe 22, 24 miles an hour gusts instead of the 18 gust that it was forecast. But that's going into the details. Some of the pumpkin and squash are held down with twigs rather than the metal kind of pegs. It's only because they ran out of the metal ones, but the twigs are doing their job perfectly well. Right, so fingers crossed as always, but that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe, send me a comment. I'll see you next time. Cheers.